welcome back to the Car Boot Hall. Hi right, guys, welcome back. Uh, car boot time. Yeah, uh, I got there a bit late this morning because uh, I had a few bevies last uh, Saturday night, so it was a bit of a interesting one trying to get up. But I did. Uh, got through the uh, got through the pain barrier. Got up, got down there. So didn't find many things, but I don't think there was much uh, there really. It just wasn't. When you're looking at the stalls, you can sort of gauge it, can't you? And just did not feel. It was all full of sort of Fisher Price stuff. Or uh, saw a lot of ponies though. My Little Ponies. Quite a few of them around, but it's just stuff that I don't get into. A couple of usual sellers weren't there, but it's that sort of time isn't it it's holiday season um a lot of the gaming sellers and the sort of big resellers weren't there so but i found a few bits I found a few bits so we'll go through them uh we'll start with these because they're at the top so i bought these all off one stall some plushy goodness that's not what you think it was so uh Got myself a Morty and a Pickle Rick. I, I, I love Rick and Morty. I think it's hilarious. Um, can't wait for the next season to come out. So I thought I've got a couple of shows coming up in and around the time the uh, was it the uh, show drops on Netflix. So I was grab them for when that happens. So they're cool. And I don't really see. I, to be honest, I don't really go after plushies, but that kind of this is kind of start how you mean to go on really uh, I got this Power Ranger uh, I think it is either Ninja Steel is it? Samurai Ninja Steel I'm not too sure I'm not honestly too up to date with my with all sort of the modern stuff uh, it's 2013 but I just thought it was cool again nice little deal on this so sort of the more stuff the better the deal, you know the score. Um, this cool little Darth Vader. Uh, it's not got a year on it. No year, but yeah, cool little plush Vader. And this dude, which I know is from an anime. What anime it's from, I'm not too sure. It says, actually no, is that, is that it? Naruto? Am I saying that right? Naruto? So, uh, again, I'm not too fond of, uh, well, not too up to date of all my anime sort of stuff, but I've seen people dressed up as this dude at the Comic Cons and everything, so I grabbed it. So that was that, the plushes. Uh, oh, and also I picked this guy up from the same stall. It's cool little Pred. I kind of didn't know where to keep it and fit it into my little alien predator shelf, which is over in the corner there, or move it on. But again, I got that in the deal, so I just bumped it up, didn't it? Uh, pick these up, which is kind of cool, both from the same person. It's the Morphin uh, Automorpher Zio, the Zio 6. So that one's a. So there you go, just as the premise of the original Ranger Morphers, they morph and the actions work. Missing his staff, he has that staff there, so he's missing that. But um, I thought one for myself really, and then I think one to move on to any Ranger collectors out there. So I find somewhere, uh, maybe on the top shelf, you can go next to the other ZOs I've got up there. Cool find, cool find. Uh, I've got this lot in one go as well. Um, comic Luke Cage. It's pretty cool to find, I think. I'm not sure if it's a Legends. Or is it a select. 2006. I think they're selects, aren't they? Anyway, it's a cool little find. Let's 
going on marbles thing. Uh, this as well I picked up. Now I was... Honestly, I just couldn't bother to muck about with it. I'm not too sure if it's a, a transformer or is it a... Whatever it is, but it looked pretty cool. Can't even, I can't see any dates or anything on it. Not too sure. Not too sure. If anyone can throw it in the comments for me, that will be a touch. This could even be a fake, some sort of fake thing, but it's cool nonetheless. And this dude, which I have no idea what he's from. Three, uh, three point seven five inch figure. Do you know what? You could give him a lightsaber and, and a, like a Star Wars gun, and you'll fit right in. But I can't see any sort of markings. I wondered if my first guess is that is it uh, a GI Joe the, from the film? Because to me, he looks like Channing Tatum. So he was in the film, wasn't he? So I can't see any markings on it at all but I thought it was just a cool figure in like what's it in a cool sort of mech suit thing it's pretty decent like I said give him a lightsaber and he'll fit right in on like a Star Wars like a, sort of like a Mandalorian sort of thing so I thought why not keeping it Star Wars I just picked up two 501st um Stormtroopers, clone troopers. Um, they were like fifty p for the pair. So I try. I'm trying to not buy, try not to buy as much Star Wars figures because I've got so much of them. But any ones that I find that I know that I've got guns for them back in the uh, back in the storage, I buy them just to, so I know I can match them up. Really. These are pretty cool. These are actually my first buy of the day, actually. They're quite modern, but they look cool. Care Bears. Uh, temporary tattoos. Used to drive my parents mad with temporary tattoos. And I'm quite surprised they still make them. This is 2014. But, um, for all you Care, Care Bear enthusiasts out there, there's some uh, temporary tattoos there for you. It was a cool little find. It, do you know what I mean? Like, there was not much figures going about, and then it was like, oh, I've got some temporary tattoos. These are pretty cool. Uh, there's no date on them, but there's some Pokemon ones there. And they're all the original Pokemon, so I'm wondering if they are from back in the day, but I can't see any dates at all on them. But. There's also nothing on there that says they're legit <laughs> Pokemon stuff, so they're probably even just fake they picked up on holiday or something. But it's still cool for all your Pokemon collectors out there. I like the Mewtwo one. Uh, probably, again, this is a, I found this in a rummage box, just a random bit of rummage. Nothing too special, but it's just cool to find it. So. Just a, the run of the mill little Ghostbuster truck. I think it's supposed to have like a helicopter to it, I think. But the one thing I did pick it up for was the fact that the seat belt is intact, which is something that always is like snapped off. And a cool, cool find for any car boot, any day, is a Dino Rider, one of the aliens from it. So that is always cool to find. He's obviously missing all his weapons and everything, but you know, if you don't look in the boxes, you don't find it, I guess. Last but not least, and you've probably he's been sitting on the table the whole time. I picked up this wicked Optimus Prime off Grant. We're selling it. It's the 2006 120th anniversary. Make some noise. I want you to make a special run to Autobot City. No worries, mate. No worries. Megatron must be stopped. All we need is a little energon and a lot of luck. Love that sound. 
yeah, it's pretty cool. Uh, it comes with a gun, um, the stand there, obviously he's got his axe. Um, a bit closer, he's, he's proper heavy and all. His gun keeps falling out of his hand, but he's fully poseable. Um, even if you open him up there. Oh, gun's gone. He's got the Matrix of Leadership in there. It's just a cool figure, and I've wanted some sort of original looking Optimus for the shelf for a while now. And I didn't find anything at Sandown, which, Sandown, thank you very much for coming. I've said it a few times, but I'll say it again, because, you know, I'm always truly grateful when you guys turn up as you did and buy stuff from the store. It even comes with a uh, this Megatron. Unfortunately, that bit has snapped, which is a shame, but it's not the end of the world. I'm not too bothered about it. But it's, so you can give him Megatron to uh, fire as well. Um, but yeah, so... Not amazing. Better than nothing. Kind of feel like... Part of me is kind of feeling like I should have stayed in bed and helped with the little hangover. or But then... I did find some cool bits. So yeah, that's it. So yeah, guys, thank you very much for watching. Uh, it was a short one this week. Uh, there was only the one boot fair. Um, thank you for, again. Thank you for Sandown coming down. Um, so next Sandown's not till November, but we're back up, set up at NEC on, in September. So uh, I think it's... I can't actually remember the date off the top of my head. So make sure you... I'll put a little thing up when it's up. But put that for your diary. It's a great day loads and loads of toys all the northern boys all the southern boys uh everyone just so you get a good mix of people and good mix of sellers so yeah guys thank you very much for watching please like and subscribe and uh hopefully next week fingers crossed the weather is going to hold out bank holiday weekend next weekend three days of toy hunting looking forward to it guys thank you very much and until next time see you later Thank you.